Hello everyone, this is Rao from the Win Central and I welcome you all to yet another interesting video. So today we'll take a closer look on Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome browser from productivity and design standpoint. And she'll find out the reasons why Edge outsides Chrome on these key areas. So without further ado, let's just dive right in, shall we? Now, before I take you to the side-by-side -side feature comparison, I want to discuss extensions and the way it behaves you know i have a thought uh, i have an idea uh, uh, rather you can take any web browser we have today uninstalling or disabling an extension is not very convenient and has some conflicts for example you have list of, list of extensions uh, here like here and you have it here so you know what what a lay person would do here uh, he simply clicks on he simply clicks on the extension icon and hopes that it would, it would offer the disable or uninstall option uh, in reality to uninstall an, an, an extension you need to go to settings and then extensions and from here you can disable the extension you know it comes a, it comes very naturally to almost everyone using internet browser on the PC for the first time because uh, smartphones are perhaps the first electronic gadget that uh, that that new generation gets and they get get used to this this tap and hold one install thing which is a default in in, uh, in most of the smartphones now think about it doesn't it come naturally uh, but I also think that 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 it's an industry standard and it's been like that for maybe decades I don't know but Google Microsoft Firefox or whoever else is making them need to imagine uh, the behavior yeah it's 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 subtle and it's perfectly fine it's just just an opinion and I would like to know what you guys think so don't hesitate to sound off in the comments Moving on, let's let's not, let's now talk about existing stuff. Let's let's talk real stuff. Let's explore how good both perform restoring previous tabs. So, on Chrome, you don't have to do anything to restore your previous tabs. Uh, I'll I'll give you a demo here. So I have I have two tabs open on Chrome, and if I close Google Chrome browser and if I reopen it uh, okay yes so if I reopen it I have reopened closed window uh, option right here and if I if I click on it, yes, I have both the tabs, just like that. You know, it's cool. On the other hand, I have Microsoft Edge and I have four tabs open here. So if I, you know, if I want to restore these seasons, I want to, I need to, you know, set this tab aside, just like this. Now, what if I want to access those, those browsing seasons? What do I need to do? I need to just go to the tabs you have set aside option right here. And boom, I just have all my tabs. It's very intuitive. It's very it's logical and it's it, it makes ton of sense. So if I click on these two tabs, I have all my options right here. So think about it. It's it's very convenient and also not only my previous browsing seasons, I can restore like seasons from like last week, six days ago. You know, I can like it's it's 
I mean, I think you can you can destroy your seasons from like 30 days uh, from today. You know, I have said that these these tabs. Uh, yes, I have said this tab six days ago, and I said this tabs last week, and I can always restore these tabs if I choose to. You know, it's it's fantastic. On Google Chrome, you don't you don't have the luxury to restore all the previous seasons you want to you know you want to visit uh, a month or maybe a week later you can't you can't you can't do that so microsoft edge is i think is very uh, makes ton of sense it it makes it, it makes ton of sense think about this now I don't want to bore discussing uh, all the. I don't want to bore bore you discussing all the speed comparisons that I think a lot of YouTubers do. I mean, <laughs> come on, guys! It's 2018, and all the web browsers uh, load pages well enough, so there's no com complaint with that. Having said that, uh, there are some Google product like like for example, you have YouTube, which perform best on Chrome and it is significantly slower on other browsers. Not only YouTube loads faster on Chrome, it also has some additional functionality like uh, I'll, I'll show you a demo here. So if I go to youtube.com uh, yes so you know I have some additional functionality like if I hover cursor on any thumbnail here I mean you have okay let's let's yeah you have you know you have a glimpse of the video or an insight I should say in a very minimal way it, it, it resembles a lot like the lifestyle functionality I mean it's 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 cool just look at this it's it's cool you know you have you have the you have the glimpse you have it here you have it here you know and it's 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 cool it's very cool i mean on the other hand on microsoft edge there's no there's nothing i mean it's it's uh, it's all static there's nothing there's no glimpse no lifetimes kind of thing and it's it's boring it's boring anyways let's 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 talk about design you know there is no argue that microsoft edge is my you know microsoft edge is far 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 more good looking uh, browser than 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 google chrome i mean i mean look at these effects uh, you know look at these look at these effects yeah look at these effects like these are subtle but 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 you know it's it's very important it's subtle but but then it it plays a critical role in making an impression it's i mean it's it's good it's cool it's it's great so google chrome uh you don't have anything like what is this it's 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 a design from like like 2010 maybe oh, i don't know like and finally google chrome should at least adopt the dark mode um, microsoft had done it apple has done it in their latest update on the mac operating system which is currently in developers preview i guess so i mean what are you waiting for like Let's just do it, you know. And I'd say Edge is not an internet Internet Explorer rebirth. It might look like that, but trust me, it it it, it is not. I have seen people bashing Edge without even using it, and just for the record, ninety nine point nine nine percent of the people can get their job done without even missing Chrome. So you know, give it a try, guys. It's it's not it's not going to be the end of the world for you so yeah that's that's it guys.